Welcome back to Smoke Your Ribs. Today we're doing fajitas, Mexican fajitas on a yakitori grill. Stay tuned. All right, like I said, I'm making fajitas today and I'm doing these on a Japanese yakitori grill that was custom made by Manuel Rios over there at El Rabbit's Barbecue. He's Mexican, but he's producing these Japanese yakitori grills. And normally I would probably be doing a yakitori recipe with the skewers and such. But in honor of Manuel, the man that sent me this grill, he's also the, uh, the creator of the You Know You Want It barbecue sauce. You're gonna be seeing some videos of that coming up real soon. But right now we're focusing on this fantastic little yakitori grill right here. This is where you would normally lay your skewers to uh, cook your meat in a Japanese fashion. But what I'm doing today, he also included with this grill, this custom fit, custom made, great system right here. And what I'm doing in honor of Manuel is I'm doing fajitas. Like I said earlier, we're doing skirt steak. But look at this little grill. It's similar to a hibachi. You could do some fantastic ribeye steaks with this. New York strip, uh, filet mignon, just whatever. But I'm doing skirt steak. We're going to do it in a hurry. We're going to put a nice sear on this meat. It's going to be good. So let's get busy. All right. We're going to get this started by making a really good marinade for this skirt steak. We're going to start off by adding one quarter cup of vegetable oil. Now into that, you want to add in the juice of two whole lemons or about three to four tablespoons. All right now you want to add in one clove of minced garlic, one teaspoon of cumin. All right, give this a good stir. Now you want to add in one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. Once again, give this a good mix. All right, now we're going to season with salt and pepper, and this is a good time to turn your heat off. I like to roast my seasonings while it's hot, but it's time to turn it off. All right, let's add in one tablespoon of a Mexican hot sauce, hot pepper sauce. Once again, give this a good mix. All right, I'm adding in 12 ounces, one bottle of Mexican beer. Going to give this a good mix. All right, now lay your skirt steak out into a dish like you see here. Gonna just pour the marinade over the meat. We're gonna let this marinade for around six to seven hours in the refrigerator. You'll want to turn this meat about every two hours. I'm gonna be covering it as well, so you'll have to remove the, remove the cover when you're ready to flip your steak over. All right, now into the fridge. We're gonna look at it again about two hours. It is time to make some homemade tortillas. Go ahead and get these done in advance. You can always warm them back up. Recipe will be in the description box. I'm also going to take this time to go ahead and cut up my bell pepper and onion. Let's fire this bad boy up. All right, I just removed the skirt steak from this awesome marinade on the grill we're going. All right, we're gonna go to about three to four minutes on each side until we get a really nice sear. That's all we're looking for. 
Man, I am loving this grill. Look at there, no flare-ups whatsoever. I've been going about four minutes. Got all this rendering down on this fire. And it's just like really behaving itself. Oh yeah, all right, we're gonna go about another three to four minutes on this side. We're not far from eating some fajitas, some the real deal fajitas. All right, now we're going to saute the peppers and onions. I'm adding salt and pepper. You got to season your vegetables. I say that on all my videos, but it's a very important step that a lot of people miss. All right, you want to saute, stir these around, toss them around until good and tender. All right, let's cut our meat up. Make sure you cut this across the grain. This is not necessarily a tender cut of meat, but it can become tender if it's not overcooked and cut properly like I'm doing here across the grain. Oh man, isn't that beautiful? All right, I got my peppers and my onions sauteed up nice. We're just simply gonna mix all this skirt steak in here. And we're gonna be serving right out of this hot skillet. All right, it's time to put some fajitas together. I'm going to assemble one of these just to show you how I do it, which I think is fairly traditional. Here you go, we got bell pepper, we have onions. That's red bell pepper, which has a little bit of sweetness to it. Just a little lime to brighten up the flavors. All right, I've got some pico de gallo here. I'll have a recipe in the description box. I've also got some guacamole. Recipe, once again, will be in the description box below. All right, last but not least, we've got a little crema. Now, from what I read, down in Mexico, they don't add sour cream or crema to their fajitas. I read it off the internet. Whether it's true or not, I have no idea, but I personally like it. Actually, I love it. And here we go. Mm. I tell you what, I must have a little Mexican in my blood because I think I did a jam up job. That yakitori grill worked perfect. That is some excellent steak to marinate that I marinated in. I probably went six, seven hours. I did it like 9.30 this morning and I started cooking these right at sunset. And uh, excellent, excellent marinade. The tortillas. I'm really happy with that. I mean, these are good. These are better than store-bought any day of the week. Fresh, homemade, how can you go wrong? I tell you what, um, if you're interested in this yakitori grill, and I will be doing some Japanese type yakitori recipes with this real soon, but I want to start with this, like I said, because of the man that makes them, Manuel Rios. Please go over there and check out his YouTube channel at L Rabbit's Barbecue. You can click right here. And uh, also, in the description box, I will have a link to the Facebook page where you can find out more information on the Yakitori Grill if you're interested in getting one custom made by Manuel and his son. They do it together, I believe, if I understood him correctly. And uh, you can't go wrong. I love this little thing. I'll be using it a lot on things like this. All right, until next time, smoke your ribs.